Hello designers, welcome to this tutorial where we'll be creating a food intro template in Adobe Premiere Pro. This tutorial is designed to be easy to follow, so let's get started. First, create a new document and name it food. There's no need to specify a size, as Adobe Premiere Pro will automatically adjust to the dimensions of the image we'll be importing. Next, open the image you'd like to use and drag and drop it onto the timeline. Adobe Premiere Pro will automatically detect the image's size and adjust accordingly. With the layer selected, navigate to the Effects panel and search for the Crop effect. Double-click on Crop to apply it to the layer. Next, search for the Transform effect and apply it to the layer as well. You can either double-click or drag and drop it onto the layer. Once both effects are applied, we'll duplicate the layer. Press the Alt key on your keyboard and move the layer up to duplicate it. We'll repeat this process four times, as we want to create a total of five identical layers, or slits. Now, select the first layer and in the Effect Controls panel, navigate to the Crop options. Set the right value to 80%. Next, select the second layer and adjust the crop options as follows. Set the left value to 10 and the right value to 60. Moving on to the third layer, set the left value to 40 and the right value to 40. Now, select the fourth layer and adjust the crop options as follows. Set the left value to 60 and the right value to 20. Next, select the fifth layer and set the left value to 80 and the right value to 0. Now that we've set the values for all layers, let's start animating. Select the first layer again and go to the Transform options. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Opacity to enable keyframing. Lower the opacity from 100 to 0. Move 20 frames forward in the timeline. You can use the shortcut Shift plus right arrow to move 5 frames at a time. Press this combination 4 times to move 20 frames. At this point, set the opacity back to 100. Select the second layer and click on the stopwatch icon next to opacity to enable keyframing. Set the opacity to 0. Move 20 frames forward and set the opacity to 100. Select the third layer and repeat the process. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Opacity, set the opacity to 0, move 20 frames forward, and set the opacity to 100. Select the fifth layer and go to the Opacity option in the Transform section. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Opacity to enable keyframing. Set the opacity to 0. Move 20 frames forward and set the opacity to 100. Finally, select the fifth layer and go to the Opacity option in the Transform section. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Opacity to enable keyframing. Set the opacity to 0. Move 20 frames forward and set the opacity to 100. Once this animation is complete, there will be a 5 frame gap before we start the next highlighting animation. So, move 5 frames forward. Now, select the first layer again. In the Effects panel, search for the Lumetric Color effect. We could have applied this effect earlier when we applied the Crop and Transform effects, but let's apply it now to all layers individually. Double-click on the Lumetric Color effect to apply it to the first layer. Then, select the second layer and apply the Lumetric Color effect. Repeat this process for the third, fourth, and fifth layers, applying the Lumetric Color effect to each one individually. Now that the Lumetric Color effect is applied to all layers, select the first layer and find the Lumetric Color options. Go to Basic Correction and under Basic Correction, find the Exposure setting. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Exposure to enable keyframing. Move one frame forward by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard. Set the exposure value to 4. Then, move 5 frames forward and set the exposure value back to 0. 
At this point, select the second layer and repeat the process. Go to Exposure under Basic Correction. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Exposure, move one frame forward, and set the exposure value to 4. Move 5 frames forward and set the exposure value back to 0. Now, select the third layer and repeat the process. Go to Exposure under Basic Correction. Click on the stopwatch icon next to Exposure, move one frame forward, and set the exposure value to 4. Then, move 5 frames forward and set the exposure value back to 0. Next, select the fourth layer and repeat the same steps. Go to Exposure under Basic Correction. Click on the stopwatch icon next to exposure, move one frame forward, set the exposure value to 4, move 5 frames forward, and set the exposure value back to 0. Finally, select the fifth layer and repeat the process one last time. Go to exposure under basic correction. Click on the stopwatch icon next to exposure, move one frame forward, set the exposure value to 4, move 5 frames forward, and set the exposure value back to 0. Thank you so much for tuning in to this tutorial. If you'd like to use this food intro template, you can get it for just $5. Simply email me, check the description box below for my email address, and I'll send it your way. Please consider supporting my channel by subscribing, hitting that like button, and leaving a comment below. Your engagement means the world to me and helps me create more content like this.